Now, if you're like, Divya, what's your credentials for critiquing all these book covers? It's my eyeballs. Hi, it's Divya G. What does the G stand for? The G stands for when graphic design is actually your passion. It's mostly YA. There might be like an adult book or a middle grade book here and there. Just a disclaimer, just because I'm endorsing some of the covers does not mean that I necessarily endorse anything that's on the inside. It might just be pretty on the outside, but ugly on the inside. Unlike me, I'm pretty on the outside inside, baby. Boop. First one. You know I gotta pull up for my gang. <laughs> That's six up crows. Prefer the version with the white tape face. We'll talk about, oh, you know, like, Kaz this, or like, Kaz that. Well, Kaz, you believe that the covers match. Covers with these books perfectly embody the tone and feel of the story. The illustrations, I love the texture for interest. I love the minimal color palette. Look at this bird. I am a sucker for things looking like the outlines of other things. I think it's so creative and Tessa of the Road does this really well. I like the contrast between the illustration and the negative space. I love the fact that it's an outline of a dragon and hidden within the nooks of its wings. We have a hidden village. And I also love that, you know, this hilly, mountainous you know, town illustration. Even though it's a still image, it does suggest movement. On the topic of crows... An enchantment of ravens. They really could have had that emotionless, stoic girl facing the cover whilst everything moves around her. <laughs> but instead they got her looking to the side. Really, the illustration is gorgeous. Like, she really said, feed the birds, tuppence a bird. Like, you get a sense of movement with the birds, the hints of feathers being around her. Kind of added that like fantasy glow near her neck without it being cheesy. The positioning and the expression between her and the crow, they just look like they empower each other. They look like they're besties. Spin the dawn and unravel the dusk also capture movement so the well. The richly illustrated fabric. Although we have that like face looking at the camera thing going on again. I feel as if her face doesn't look that bland the sharp look in their eyes when they're like looking up like this tells me that they are fierce i love how they've woven the thread and it's like on the verge of being cut which lends well with the theme in the plot about her being the greatest seamstress in the world because you can really tell that she has the power i know that they're east asian but i would hire them to make my lingo you know when you look at a cover and you audibly gasp like it's so beautiful that shit knocks the wind right out of your lungs and then you feel like Piggy from Lord of the Flies. Because now you got asthma. The line art is immaculate. I love how the crane's beak is perfectly positioned with the end. And the author Joan He elaborates saying, Feifei's line work is as intricate as the arcs of my plot, and her pieces are comprised of layers that reveal something new within each glance. On the surface, the cover draws the reader in with saturated colours and motifs reminiscent of Art Nouveau. The majestic crane crowned in red is eye-catching and the lotus flowers are beautiful. Chinese culture is rich in symbolism. Lotus flowers must first grow out of the mud before they can bloom. They symbolize perfection and purity of heart. In this composition, they tower around her scene almost menacingly, representing the struggle she faces to do right by her heart as she ventures deeper into her father's path. Her father, meanwhile, is represented as a crane. His legacy looms long after his death. For all its political machinations and twists, is a tale centered on family and truth. It's about how things that are inherently good, such as the crane and lotus flowers, become oppressive in a different context. Context. It's about choosing yourself, even when those who love you think they know you best. That's some Shakespeare right there! Howl's Moving Castle might be easily top three favorite Ghibli films. Folio Society have some of the pengus ass Len covers I ever seen in my entire damn life. Babes, listen. I will sell my soul for this. Or even my eggs. This artist is Marie Alice Hair. And they have a very distinctive style with their cover art, okay? And they are the 2019's book illustration competition winner. Can we all just pause and take a minute of silence just to look at this cover? You know, the illustration makes us feel so magical and childlike and imaginative whilst also being, you know, very slightly, slightly dark. I love how a lot of the Folio Society cover designers, they don't even put the bloody title on the cover because the art is just that They're length. like, you know what? Title, who needs them? You'll see the title on the spine. Okay, I may be a vegan, but I can appreciate a good yoke. Yoke by artist Gigi is so distinctive for a YA. The bold yellow demands your attention. And I love the illustration of the two sisters falling through the sky, their hands in clasp. Children of blood 
and bone. Look at the texture. The contrast, the white and the black backgrounds, the minimal color schemes, the illustration. Everything sad is on true texture i love how there's so many hidden illustrated elements i love there's like a very light symmetry going on i love the interplay of the text with the tornado i love the multiplex of the colors that doesn't feel like too visually overwhelming ink hot cornelia funk's covers now no. ink hot didn't me yeah they glowed up from first day at year seven to the best time of your life look at this symmetrical it's balanced the typography and the illustrations are gorgeous. color scheme of each individual books retain its individual integrity whilst matching the series like triplets but they got their own personality to me it does read slightly younger maybe middle grade not sure whether the series classifies as such but in heart all three of you i will catch a grenade for you i will jump in front of a train okay, so listen there are so many wire covers that would get a ashray Rai a run for the money okay let me know your favorite wire covers or even better still covers that were shit but the insides were good or covers that were good but the inside was shit or just like covers that you like this time i might do like non-ya covers follow my depression on twitter and whatever the hell and uh, my battery is running out so i'll see you guys next time whenever that is i'm moving out like in like a day or two so we'll see if this is we'll See what happens anyway okay quick hug quick hug ah, i'm stressed okay bye bye Boop. don't forget to like like it and stuff it helps me out it helps me pay for my rent also i dyed my hair again this is actually purple but it's so dark it looks like it's giving me witch